Hi, my name is Derry Morgan, and this is the video summary for our two papers, Exotic Properties of a Voltage-Gated Proton Channel in the Snail Helisoma Drivolvis, and the follow-up paper, Histidine 168 is crucial to the delta pH dependent gating of the human voltage gated proton channel HV1. Both these papers were published simultaneously in the Journal of General Physiology. Although first imagined by Woody Hastings in 1972, the first recording of proton currents by voltage clamp was by Thomas and Meech in 1982 in snail neurons. What is striking about these records are the channel's fast kinetics of activation, far faster than the mammalian channel that was discovered a decade later. Homologous analysis of the amino acid sequences of proton channels from different species led the Okamura group to conclude that a serine residue in the S2-S3 linker region was responsible for the fast activation of the proton channel found in sea urchin. Several species have fast opening proton channels and they are labelled here on the left in green. Intermediate kinetics are shown here in white and those in pink are the slower channels. That includes the mammalian channel. All the slow channels have a histidine at the homologous position that the sea urchin had a serine. The snail channel from Helisoma trivolvis has a glutamine at that position. This slide shows a side-by-side -side comparison of the sequences of human and snail, demonstrating where the histidine is in the human channel and where the comparative glutamine is found in the snail channel on the right. Replacing histidine 168 in the human channel with either glutamine, serine or threonine resulted in increasing the kinetics of opening by an order of magnitude faster than the wild type channel. The snail channel shows three orders of magnitude faster kinetics than the human channel, so this residue is not the complete story when considering activation kinetics. However, this residue also played an unexpected role in the pH dependence of gating. One of the crucial properties of proton channels is the sensitivity of its gating to pH. The mechanism by which the channel senses pH is currently unknown, as one of the main functions of the channel is to extrude acid, understanding how it senses pH will greatly improve our knowledge of this molecular device. This slide describes how the mammalian channel gates with pH. The traces on the left show current families at a variety of different pH. Different pH gradients alter the potential where the channel first turns on, what we call the threshold potential. When current is plotted against voltage, we notice that the channel senses the gradient rather than the absolute pH. As the current voltage records are pH 8 outside and 6.5 inside, open at the same voltage as pH outside 7 and pH inside 5.5. Altering the gradient of pH in one unit in either direction shifts the voltage dependence by 40 millivolts. When we plot threshold voltage against the proton reversal potential we see that almost all species studied have a higher threshold potential compared to the reversal potential of protons and therefore the channel only functions to extrude acid. The helisoma channel shows a deviation from the pH dependence just described. When keeping internal pH constant but varying outside pH, the snail channel shows more normal or supranormal pH dependence. The threshold shifting greater than 40 millivolts per unit pH. However, when altering internal pH, the shift in threshold potential was much less, showing a weak sensitivity to pH changes on the internal side. This property resulted in inward currents with inward pH gradients. These inward currents may have biological 
significance, such as propagating action potentials in snail neurons, as we suggested for the proton channels from the dinoflagellate calodinium, which also showed inward currents in its native channel. This chart shows the extent of the difference in pH sensitivity between internal pH and external pH. Changing, changing external pH elicits a greater than 40 millivolt per unit pH shift in threshold, whereas internal pH changes only shift threshold 15.3 millivolts per unit pH. We made a serendipitous discovery when we measure the pH sensitivity of the human proton channel with histidine-168 mutated agglutamine. The external pH dependence was normal under these conditions. However, the sensitivity of the mutant channel to internal pH was much weaker, almost identical to the insensitivity of the snail channel to internal pH. This insensitivity also resulted in inward currents similar to those shown in the snail channel. Therefore, we conclude that the histidine-168 mutation to glutamate recapitulates the weaker pH sensing of the snail channel and demonstrates that histidine-168 is critical to the internal pH sensing of the human proton channel. Thank you for listening and I hope you enjoyed the presentation.